Adver games suck, or at least most of them do. The sole purpose of their existence is to make you buy, or at least notice a product, so the quality of the game doesn't have to be that high. Of course, we at Zoom In Games found a few games that are actually worth playing, despite the fact they're just one big commercial. So here are the five best Adver games of all time. So grab yourself a bag of Doritos, sit back, and get some gamer score. Whoa, easy, sister. I'm on your side. My side? Who are you? Call me Drac. Though Necroth would call me Dim Soom right about now. When it comes to sweets, the M&Ms are infamous for their video games. But their sour counterpart, Skittles, actually made a good game. I give up. The rebels have been using the cave. I hear they wrote a secret there. Oh, it's you. I thought so. Dark and Sky is an adventure game that features the Skittles candies as a power-up and part of the story. By the time the game was finished, its publisher wanted to remove the Skittles brand from the game, but it was already part of the gameplay and in-game text. The old tuning fork's in the wall near the hidden entrance stick. Oh, come on, we can't do this puzzle till later. How do you know? I read the script. I mean, I had a sacred vision. One of the better platform games for the Sega Mega Drive was Cool Spot, a game that featured the 7-Up mascot. Although the game's hero might look a bit dull, the game itself was pretty good. He even uses 7-Up bubbles as projectile weapons. How cool is that? At least the game does a good job of making you crave sweet carbonated water. Fire Team 1 will take out the enemy positions across the courtyard. Fire Team 2 will move to the objective. Take the low road, let's get them! Propaganda or a recruitment tool? It doesn't matter what your view on America's army is. It is pretty clear that this game wants you to become an American soldier. I've got contact. As a US soldier, you have to kill lots of bad guys in this pretty decent Counter-Strike clone. The game even features a recruitment button. How rad! We all know the story about how the Western market got a different version of Super Mario Bros. 2 than the Japanese market. However, not many people know how the original Doki Doki Panic was created as a promotional tool for the Japanese Fuji Television Network. The games are basically identical besides the fact that one features mascots from the television network and the other Nintendo characters. Shame on you, Nintendo. Zul is a tiny ninja who roams through Candyland and encounters lots of lollipops on his journey. That's not a coincidence because this Amiga game is fully sponsored by candy maker Chupa Chups. The game came out in 1992, which put Zool in direct competition with the super popular Sonic and Mario. The ninja of the end dimension couldn't beat these guys, and a brilliant platformer is all that's left of him for us to enjoy. Connect with the Zoom In Games community. Share your adventures with us every day. Upload videos and photos or create your own memes for everyone. Download the new Zoom In Games community app now for Android and iOS devices.